When should you use an AVA flat IR emitter? Whenever you need to get infrared control to a device that cannot be reached by a NanoBrain's IR blaster? Or when the Brain's IR blaster would end up controlling more than one device that use the same IR codes? Here's what you do. Before you install permanently, establish control. Use painter's tape or similar to keep the emitter LED on the device's sensor. If the sensor location is not obvious and you don't have a spec sheet diagram, a flashlight, even your phone's flashlight, can reveal where it hides in a front panel. Plug the USB end into either of the free USB ports. The AVA splitter lets you double the capacity of each input, but never daisy chain splitters. Now you can go to settings and then devices. Add a device. Select the right nano brain, the one with the flat IR emitter for the device to control. Satellite brains will appear here too. Search for the device model and assign to a room as normal. Change from the default of using the brain's IR blaster to an IR emitter. Match to the ID on the emitter hardware. With the emitter properly placed, verify control by testing some commands. Now you can complete all the normal wiring steps. If an emitter ever needs to be replaced, or you make a mistake, go to Settings, then Devices, tap the device to change, and tap Change IR Emitter to reassign the device to a different emitter. After verifying the setup, you can permanently affix the flat IR emitter to a device. Ensure the device is free of dust and oil. Remove any surface oils with a soft cloth and something like isopropyl alcohol. Once clean and dry, peel the adhesive at the emitter end and affix to the device's sensor as tested. Then work back from the emitter, peeling and affixing until you have adequately secured and concealed the flat IR emitter. A properly mounted flat IR emitter is effectively invisible. No more dangling wires, distracting flashes, control between devices, foam tape fatigue, and cleaning crew dust rag disruptions. Just perfect control. AVA OS can control many projectors and TVs using IP control. Click one of these suggested videos to learn more.